Yo, what's good, homie squad? It's your boy, homie Ziggy. We back in here with another triple threat reaction for y'all. And look, y'all already know. Shout out to everybody who always watches these, man. From the ones who are reacting to and such, and to all the humble squad members. Much appreciate to y'all. But look, we just gonna go right into it because. It's like this. For tonight's Anime Wednesdays, it's probably most. It's, yeah, it's most likely gonna be a live stream tonight. So make sure everybody comes in and such. But yeah, we got some. We got we got Callen B here. We got Chubby Sensei, a new one that I've heard about. And we got Maguire on this. So. We just gonna jump right into it. No, no dilly dallying. So sure, we got a Tsubasa, Tubasa. Sorry if I said the name wrong. Freestyle by Callum B. So we about to check this out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get in the video. <laughs> And I, and, I appear, and hey, he's a part of a Taku Underworld. Shout out to them. The way it was written, I give an arm and a leg for the body of work I was missing. I'm in the game with the Aussie deity. Who want a piece of me? I'll never cease to be. Only see anime up on my TV screen. You're outdated as DVDs. All these fans out streaming me. I gotta flex, so crazy. One piece, I gotta be the king. You fuck with me, get hit with a big P. You feel the shock. I bet your new song, Magic on Flop. Stop. Landing, you can't do the Avatar shop. I go ahead, take a Gallagher shot. Send you to seven heaven, no tip for I want One thing I gotta say that would. I feel like with Otaku Underworld, they go for more like the waviness of how Nerdcore could be. Like. Not a lot of time, cause it's like this with nerdcore. It's it's evolving more and more and more, cause cause at one point of it, people would think like it's like you would have to be in the know it all, of know it all. Like you would have to watch the anime to get some of the reference and such. But as the years go by and such, and y'all probably heard it from other you no, know, from other people who react to nerdcore and such, that nine times out of ten. The more that they keep on advancing more and such, so like the way how they always try to find a way how to not only be related to mostly the anime, but more into people just want to get a good vibe to it and such, it's cool. Because look, most of the times I don't be getting the anime, most of the times I don't be getting some of the references and such, but with some of the context clues they do and with the just waviness of how the beat is, of how the song is feeling for me. It just fire. DVDs, all these fans out streaming me. I gotta flex so crazy. One piece, I gotta be the king. You fuck with me, get hit with a big P. You feel the shop. I bet your new song, Magic on Flop. Stop. Landing, you can't do the Avatar shop. I go ahead, take a Gallagher shot. Send you to seven heaven, no tip for. I want to street my fist up. Pass a fist up, pass a fist up. I'm feeling super a cyborg, frankly. Feeling superior life form, frankly. No shit begging like Dre beats. Yeah. I'm in your house like Corey is, Corey in the house, okay? Like, don't get me wrong. One thing I gotta say about this song, right? It's wavy, don't get it twisted. It's just one, and Kylan, I know you're gonna probably see this video, bro. You comment most of the times on my videos. It's the mix in this, cause even though I can still what hear your voice, like I caught few of the bars there, like that core in the house bar I just caught. I can't hear few I can't like hear most of you. Like I'm mostly just hearing the beat. And with your voice it's not like loud enough. So whoever like produced by Audi got clout. 
that is such a weird <laughs> look no disrespect bro but all you got clout yeah some I, I don't know why most producers have weird name tags but it is what it is but either way all I gotta say is if your vocals were just a little bit more turned up and such cuz you probably you are spitting no doubt it's just that I can't hear it for most of the time I'm in the flow from parabola to rapper I will bet my car for track on my last words You feel the solo of Kelly and Casper I cause a rapper if you play it backwards Uh huh, then yo, you recording it Me and the mocker like poker accordions I record stories and modern historian I'm in the house like Corias Uh, yeah Boondocks chillin' like Grandpa and Huey Life in the village is hidden in loose leaf Misinformation I feel is confusing So I piece a puzzle like Pedro Kazooie And will be picture of fatal frame I know my friends should be hitting like 808s I see my head is a salty potato They stay in my bag I split the chips on my label mates Yeah, shout out. Yeah, don't get me, like I said, the song was cool, don't get me wrong. It's just the mix in it was kind of a little bit too much because I was mostly hearing the beat more than how, uh, more than hearing Callan himself. But either way, it's a cool ass song. So shout out to Callan and shout out to Otaku on the world, bro. But on to now Chubby Sensei. Now, hear me out when I say this with his wake up official AMV as Zenito rap. Now, he, this was actually two weeks ago. Now, it's like I said, guys. If, he, but by the way, it's like this for any nerdcore artists out there, whether you're up and coming or you're like underrated and such, you would say. Follow, follow me on Instagram and Twitter and such, and TikTok too if you want. But you see my socials up there. Follow me. He DM me on Twitter about two weeks ago, right? And bro. I apologize that I didn't get to react to it sooner rather than later. I did tell you soon though. It's just that when I got the time. Well now, the time is now. Cause most of the times I be forgetting. I be forgetting to the ones who DM me and such. So hope you see this bro and shout out to you for reaching me out on Twitter. But for anybody or any other nerdcore artists out there who wants me to react to their music. Whether it was a week old, two weeks old, a month old. Hey, any one of your best ones, just hit me up on Instagram and Twitter. And I'll try to get to it as much as I can. But either way, let's get into this. Under blame, I didn't mean it cause you pain No one show me how to take love Cause literally, cause literally this, this nigga Zenito Always try to find love with any woman he sees Like, this nigga, would, this nigga wouldn't care if, you, if the girl was married to another guy He would literally want him to dump them Dump them so that way he can get it But dude, the love has to come like natural, not just forced. Blame, I didn't mean it cause you pain. No one showed me how to take love. Back against the wild, some days I don't trust my dog cause I know these people fade, bro. Trapped inside these walls in the mirror, I see flowers. Some days I don't wanna wake up, but I gotta wake up. Gotta get the cake cool. I've been on the ground, I'm trying to find out in the scraper. Every day I ask myself if I got what it takes. Bro. See, they coming for my soul, but I won't sign it away. I can't keep waiting on prayer, I had to find my own way. Hold the God, He can't forgive me if they try me today. Cause they fly out of way. Yeah, they fly out of way. I don't wanna wake up. This guy. This guy 
more of a like this has a mainstream like vibe to it like he sounds like I don't want to wait like the way how he's singing he sounds a little bit more like how it's in a way like Rod Wave and such but it has a little bit more fly away yeah they fly away I don't want to wait good lately it's been hard I got so much on my heart I don't know how much I can take bro on the blame, I didn't mean to cause you pain. No one showed me how to tailor. Back against the wall, some days I don't trust my dog. Cause I know these people fake, Trapped inside these walls, in the mirror, I see flowers. Some days I don't wanna wake up. But I gotta wake up, gotta get it cake up. I'm just trying to let it crooked system wanna break. Bro. I can't hit the brakes, I'm doing everything it takes, bro. Trust me, bro. It's like this. This is what I was talking about when Nerdcore keeps on evolving more and more. Because, cause let's face it, most of the times, and look, I'm going to say this most of the times. A lot of people want to hate on people for watch anime and such. Nigga, most of the times, in the, an the most of these anime characters be more realer than some, of th some people in this world. Because even though that these an anime characters are fictional, like they're not actually real but whenever you see them doing situations that are like in real life in a way how they fix it compared to how other people fix it they more realer than people in this world tell me if I'm wrong like bro wanna break bro. I can't hit the brakes I'm doing everything it takes bro I've been hurting for so long feel like I'm riding away Heard they plotting on the family, guess we sliding to this Time we living in this dark and I'm just lighting to it I'm just lighting to it, I'm just lighting to it I don't wanna wake up Lately it's been hard, I got so much on my heart I don't know how much I can take, bro I guess I'm the blame, I didn't mean to cause you pain No one showed me how to tailor Back against the wild, some days I don't trust my dog Cause I know these people fake, bro this got so much of a good replay value to it, cause trust me, anybody could re relate to this. Anybody. Like, most cause you hear in the chorus that most people don't want to wake up cause they be going through it and such. But hey, sometimes you gotta fight through it in order to, like you said, get your cake up. But just try to grind it out, keep on going and... Don't stop until when you reach to your ultimate goal. Cause you pain, no one show me how to tailor. Back against the wild, some days I don't trust my dog. Cause I know these people fake, bro. Trapped inside these walls, in the mirror, I see flowers. Some days I don't wanna wake up. I don't wanna wake up. Chubby, Chubby, you did your thing, bro. It's a good thing that I got to this, like I said, now, later. Because, trust me, if I would have, because at that time, if I would have reacted to it, honest to God, I wouldn't have my best reaction to it. So, trust me when I tell you this, today is a good time. Because today was a good day for me to react to this song. Because even though it's two weeks old, it don't matter. Because what are, what are most of the best sayings? Better late than never. And trust me, it's a good thing I react to this today. So, hey, make sure y'all go subscribe to Chubby Sensei. I'm going to tag him. Y'all can when y'all go in my description down below and you see his name tagged there. Make sure y'all go follow him. But now we on to Maguire's Rivals of Anime Singing Cypher. This is another one, an anime singing cypher as you see on the screen, part two, because he did one before. And he has Game Boy Jones, Con Hala CG, Connor, Connor Quest, and Asterix. Asterix. Let's see what this one. 
Let's see what this one's gonna be. literally one one form he does is that thunder strike that lightning flash or so right if i'm not mistaken that's probably i don't know if it's lightning flash but <laughs> sorry for that yawn but trust me he does have that he does normally one form but he but it does have a main strike to it no doubt about that This is another one I need to watch. Koro Sensei. Yeah. Di like. This nigga is too fast. Because most of the time. Look, this is like this, y'all. I'm going to start needed. Because right now I'm watching Black Clover. Finally, right? Shout out to Professor Koro and such for recommending me watching Black Clover. And look. On Crunchyroll, I'm watching it. And I'm on episode 10. So far. It's fire. It has a little bit of comedy, but has a little more backstory and just straight up fire action. But yeah, I'm on episode 10 on Crunchyroll because I don't know how they do it with Netflix or any other ones. But for now, I'm on watching it on Crunchyroll and I'm on episode 10. But either way, it's fire. To be brave. Is coming around. You can keep your guard up. I'll bring it down. Playground off in your face because when your arm breaks, it's a great sound. Teaching me about decency, you're preaching to the choir. I'll set this place on fire. Take a look at me, and you'll see red when it drips past your eyes and cheeks. Then you'll see red, just a flash past the lightning speed, and you'll see red like a rage deep inside of me. I have to read. Hold up, Connor. You not I feel now we all heard Connor sing before. Swing? Sing before. I have weird I don't know why my mouth said swing. Regardless. But we've heard Connor sing before. But when he hit that high note though, never heard him hit that high note before. Oh, He's no. deep inside of me, I have to No, I'm seeing, seeing. And never been the one to be scared. And one thing I've never well, it's like this with Game Boy Jones, right? Hold on, let me back up. Game Boy Jones. He's another person that I would never thought could be a good singer. Not saying great, but shit. Well hear me out. I never thought he would actually sing. Cause we've always hear him go aggressive on some songs, right? But the fact, but it's like this, the fact that when he made Hokage tonight with him and Chris Craig, even though it's a two-year-old song, still, two-year-old, one-year-old song, still. But one thing, but what I've always said about the Nerdcore scene, about Nerdcore, is that with artists, they always keep you on your toes because you never know what you expect from them. Because you would never expect Game Boy Jones to be on a singing cipher. Sorry. I don't know about y'all, but for me, I'm just normally used to him rapping, rapping, just going aggressive and such, and a little bit buttery on some songs. But see, that's the difference between going buttery on a song, like smooth talking, 
but singing never hear him sing before just saying and never been the one to be scared since a kid i've been a big shot yeah but you know that i will be there dynamic entry when i come in with a big bang who gon' touch me see you talking all that big game i've been hustling i've been grinding till my wrist sprang they think i'll break they think i'm fragile but this kid he had to be Bakugo because he literally did a song with Bakugo called Big Bang as he saw in that point of that in that little stanza right there like with that song Big Bang that one was just aggressive the fact that you come in singing now <laughs> crazy Now you, now you acting a dick. Now you just acting. Now you just trying to show up. You just now he's just doing that now. So in that yeah, nigga, I can rap, but I couldn't hit a high note, motherfucker. Like there has got to be some. That could not just be him. I don't care. I don't care. That has to be somebody coming in for Game Boy, cause that high note. I thought Connor was hitting a high note. Or, like, I thought Connor was hitting a high note, but this nigga here took it up to a whole nother level. Oh, look. Asterisk. I know your other side. I saw my reflection. Oh, it's a girl? My bad if I would look with a name like Asterisk, I thought it was a guy. My bad. Sorry. But well, hold up. Don't and don't get me wrong. Look, for somebody who gonna say do not look. Most look, like I said, most of the times whenever I see a new nerdcore artist, sometimes I gotta see on the spot if it's either it would be either a guy or a girl. Don't judge. Other side I saw my reflection Don't you, don't you run and hide I'm missing all my light Lost all direction Now I'm coming for your life I forgot we haven't heard Maguire and y'all already know whenever Maguire starts to sing what we what we always say this nigga is he brings the freaking soul into anime rap into this nerdcore cuz and what I, is like this with Game Boy Jones he's the smooth right but Maguire he's the soul like like, be honest, in this nerdcore, right, we've always gotten, like, wavy songs, like, you can, like, dance to and such, right? But, have we, and not to be confused with Fable, right? We've always, with Fable and Divide, you've always got passion. Like, you hear the passion, right? But have you ever gotten a voice in nerdcore? That just like takes you away, just make you feel like you're in church. That like, takes you to the high, like you're going, like you're ascending into heaven. Tell me, have you ever heard a voice like that? Not and just not just. And when I mean like singing, I don't mean like a Halle CG singing or like a Conor singing or anything like that. Just a voice that like makes you feel so powerful, whether it's like in an aggressive or in just a menacing or uplifting. Have you ever gotten a soul? I mean, a voice that makes your soul is like going into heaven. 
that's what Maguire's voice is. Cause ever since that he came into this nerdcore scene with that type with his type of vocal presence, bro, nerdcore has been so fire. saying whenever it comes to hold on let me we're giving him that wrong time for kids you talking about because we got to appreciate him but yeah like i said whenever this nerd with this nerd core bro oh, i don't know what that is but yeah like be honest with yourself with nerd core right with mcguire have you ever in your life have gotten like a voice in nerdcore that is like so make your soul want to like feel like you're in church not to my knowledge and not to y'all knowledge right but yeah but hey bro shout out to everybody who was in this triple threat reaction bro to Callan B chubby sensei and everybody in that anime singing cypher too the rivals and such, yay, y'all did y'all thing, y'all came in with a vocal person like none other, but yeah, shout out to everybody who reacted this man, shout out to the humble squad bro, y'all are the real ones man, we're almost close to a thousand, we're at 837, hey, appreciate for everybody who keeps on subscribing man, keep on liking the video, sharing, watching, all of that, but yeah, like I said, with Anime Wednesdays, it's pretty much going to be a live stream today, tonight, so make sure y'all be prepared. But either way, it's been your boy Humble Ziggy signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. Let go.